And as you can see, delighted to say uh, Stevie joins us here in the studio. Stevie, great to see you. Uh, and as you can see, Tim Thornton is, is also here behind us, uh, who was part of the team that made the documentary. So I'll be speaking to, to Tim as well. Uh, but Stevie, I want to start with you. For, well, before anything else, happy birthday. Thank you. It's your birthday you. today, isn't yes, it? Yes, You've come out, what I better? forgot it was my birthday today. Everything's going on. Everything's a little bit mental today, but it's my birthday. And I'm 28. Right. And I'm 28 today, so I'm yeah. cracking on. Well, look, you, I tell you what, 28 is a great age. <laughs> yeah. You're looking very well. Um, what better way to spend your birthday and come down and speak to us about this? And look, we watched the documentary earlier. I'm going to watch it again, actually, at 5.30. It was such a great documentary. How did you find doing it and, and, and what sort of inspired you to, to do it? I mean, the process, I mean, Tim were great. Tim Thornton were great. Tom Mordy were great. And I had a lot of conversation with those guys just on what I was feeling um, and I feel like I was going through a lot which a lot of people struggle with but they find it hard to validate what they're going through um, and I just felt like making my pain and struggle worth it is by telling people about it that's how I get through life and that's how I keep going right now so it was a few conversations with Tim uh, and Tom and just decided to, to let the cameras into it, I guess. Mm. And I wasn't trying to do anything special. I was just trying to show people the ups and downs of the journey. Concussion and living with persistent post-concussion syndrome, it's not linear. And I thought it was going to be an injury that I could overcome. I thought by the end of it, I'd be, no spoilers, um, I'd be sort of overcoming it and being better. But mm. it's still a tough journey and it's still something that I'm living with every day and I'm not quitting in that search to get better I guess. Good man. It must be so scary as well. I think it was, it was your dad saying it was a difficult, it's, not, it's not something you put a band-aid over, yeah. it was it was so it's hidden to everybody and and he, he picked up on a few things, that, a few little hints that you weren't quite mm. your, your usual self. Mm. Now that you're going through this process of, of, of of, of dealing with it, trying to get better. Is it, is it, is that give you some comfort that you sort of, you know what's going on, you're getting a grip of what has actually happened? Yeah, I mean, one of the main things when I was going through it initially was just confusion. Why, why am I struggling with it? Why do I have to have these symptoms that carry on and on and on? Um, and that leads to me obviously having to come away from the game um, at 28 and letting go of what that journey was for me to, to play rugby and, and to play for Leeds Rhinos, to win the trophies. Mm. And I had to let go of it. The longer it went on, I had to let go of that. Um, and I guess it's a relief to know that I know what I'm struggling with now. I did a lot of searching and a lot of questioning and a lot of speaking to different specialists. And there's only so much you can do with that. And obviously the cameras have seen me do it and been along with the journey. Um, I'm a place of, I guess, acceptance of what I'm struggling with and, and, and hoping that my brain somehow finds a way to, to settle and, and heal, I guess. It, you know, it's, it's such a huge journey for you. It was a journey as well, just watching the documentary, seeing the different processes you're going through and when you went back and watched the game again. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's not yeah. seen it yet because it's on again at 5.30, but I do recommend you, you, you give it a watch. I'm going to bring in Tim as well. As you mentioned, Tim and, and Tom Morty were, were a big part of this documentary mm. as well. Tim, uh, how did it come about, th this whole idea, to, to put this documentary together? Yeah, well, Stevie had been struggling uh, with his concussion and he wasn't playing, he wasn't getting any better and it actually came about, me and Stevie met up in a park in Leeds and we went for a walk and a chat and he was saying, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my life, I don't know whether I'm going to ever return to playing and it was born out of that really that we decided to follow his journey. He was incredibly brave to let us in because he was at his most vulnerable he led us into not only his life, but that of his family as well, his girlfriend, his, his mum and dad. And it was a story where we didn't know what the end would be. He's a, he is a, a living case study of concussion. And I think that, that's what uh, really grabs you about this. It, it is emotion, it's pure emotion. It's a roller coaster ride, it's, it's up and down. We've seen Stevie when he, he feels like he's getting better. And then there are other days when he's been incredibly low so it's been a journey for him and it's been a privilege to be part of that journey and, and for, for Stevie 
to share that with us. Indeed, you mentioned your parents and your girlfriend. I thought it was fascinating with the bit your girlfriend did when she came in and you were just in the dark, lying on the sofa. It must be so so tough, Steve, you honestly. But I know you made it clear during the documentary that you're open to new treatment ideas. Mm. And I think you've got a bit of news on that front, have you? Yeah, there's, there's not loads I can say on it. There's not loads I can say on it, but there's a treatment that I believe in uh, and I'll be flying off tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow midday, I'll be flying off. Um, I'm quite hopeful. I believe in it. And I think it's going to be quite special. I'm hoping that that, complemented with a bit of travelling after, um, is going to allow me to, to come back to a bit more of a normal life. Right. And um, you never know, there might be a part two in it. Can, can you tell us where you're going? I'm flying across the pond, okay. if that makes sense. Yes, That's where yes. I'm going, over right. there. I'm going over that way, um, right. across the Atlantic. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try some new things and um, I'm hoping that, that it, it comes good. Good. You, you, obviously, you, you don't want to leave any stone unturned. I know you've got your podcast as well, haven't you? I was, mm. I was, I was just having a look at that mentality, it's cool. Is yeah. It? It, you're, you're, you, you've really taken this on. I mean, it, a lot of people might have folded, <laughs> but you've done yeah. the opposite. I oh. just, yeah, I just feel like the, the more and more I connect the dots, I just, I think I push myself to the limit a lot. Um, in, and that's good and bad, you know, in, but in sport, when you take it to the field, that's the thing you need to do. And, and I look at mental health and I look at people taking up the support and granting themselves the permission to do it. I mean, I, I, I led so many teams out and, and players out and led myself onto the field and there were so many feelings of, of anxiety, nerves, um, unconfidence going out onto the field. But then when you're out on the field, you play the game, you go through the, the nerves and you step into the arena. And honestly, I feel like men uh, in particular, we need to take the opportunity to step into their own arena and, and speak about mental health and grant themselves permission to, to do the same and, and, and to work on themselves. You're such an inspiration, honestly, Steve. I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And Tim, there'll be people watching this documentary today hopefully being inspired by Stevie as well. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's happening right now. Yeah, I know that, that people have reached out to Stevie having seen clips of, of the documentary. And I've spoken to a lot of people as well who suffered with con concussion. And there is a common thread. They've all had similar kind of journeys where they've been left in this place where they're searching for answers. Nobody can give them the answer on how to get better. This is an, an invisible injury. Just as an example, we went to the Leeds Rhinos uh, game with Stevie as part of the documentary. And a lot of people were coming up to Stevie and patting him on the back and saying, you look great, you look really well, you look really well. And, and Stevie had to leave that game after 15 minutes because of the noise. He, he had a sensitivity to the noise and he really struggled that day. And uh, I think that was one of the low points for him. He actually left after 15 minutes and, and uh, I think he was curled up on a, on a blanket on his sofa uh, mm. having gone home. It had been a really, really tough day for him. But the appearance is that everything is fine. Everything is fine. He looks great. But underneath, there are things going on, and, uh, and that's a very common thread. And I've had messages today from some of the other people we've interviewed about concussion, and they, they've seen Stevie's journey, and they say, yeah, it makes sense now. That happened to me. So, yeah, there is a common thread, and, uh, you know, it's incredibly difficult for, the, for those that have suffered concussion because I don't think we talk about it enough, and hopefully today will help. Yeah, I mean, that's it's an interesting point. You must get it all the time. People yeah. telling you how well you look. Yeah. I mean, I think I did it myself when you yeah. first started yeah. on. Uh, and it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's, it's, it's hidden that what you're going through is something that only you can truly understand and mm. I guess other people are going through the same. Mm. Uh, what do you think sport can do as a whole to sort of, uh, not just rugby league, but to try and improve what happens with regards to head injuries? Because we're talking about rugby union, we're talking about football, we're talking about so many other sports where this is an issue what what do you think needs to happen i think i think we really need to accept what's going on we need to accept that there's there's an issue and that more and more research is being done um and accept that that we're gonna have to do something about it and then address it um i've played with so many teammates in, in those leeds rhino shirts um that when they step onto the field they're, they're ready to go to war and and they're ready to to leave everything out there um, and they rely on the teammates. So I, I just feel like going through this at the minute, I'm relying on 
everyone to, to come together in a way, to look for a better way that we can do rugby league. I think just I just think that young men in, speci in specific, we all need to fight for something. We all need to go to war for something. Rugby league is an amazing vehicle for the young man energy that there is. And I just think we can do it better. We can stop having the, the pointless battles on the field, the pointless battles on the, on the training paddock, when we don't need to be smashing into each other. We save that for when we really need to do it. And that's when the quality comes. That's where the sponsorship comes. That's where the growth of the game comes because we're looking after each other. And when we step onto the park, we're doing it seriously, and we're doing it properly, and we can really make a show out of that, I think. Well, Stevie, want to say good luck with the next steps of your treatment, whatever you're doing over the pond. I hope that goes really well for you. you know, thanks to you and to your girlfriend and to your parents and, and to Tim and Tom and everyone who's yeah. part of this massive documentary. You're inspiring people at home. Plenty are getting in touch with us, believe me, to say yeah. what an inspiration you are. So thank you so much for coming in. And I just encourage everybody to watch the documentary as well at 5.30. It's on Sky Sports' main event. Uh, Stevie Ward, Living With Concussion. Stevie, it's been a pleasure.